As the 20th century draws to a close, the United States stands as the world's most preeminent power. Having led the West to victory in the Cold War, America faces an opportunity and a challenge. Does the United States have the vision to build upon the achievement of past decades? Does the United States have the resolve to shape a new century favorable to American principles and interests? What we require is a military that is strong and ready to meet both present and future challenges. A foreign policy that boldly and purposefully promotes American principles abroad. And national leadership that accepts the United States' global responsibilities. Of course, the United States must be prudent in how it exercises its power. But we cannot safely avoid the responsibilities of global leadership of the costs that are associated with its exercise. America has a vital role in maintaining peace and security in Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. If we shirk our responsibilities, we invite challenges to our fundamental interests. The history of the 20th century should have taught us that it is important to shape circumstances before crises emerge and to meet threats before they become dire. The history of the past century should have taught us to embrace the cause of American leadership. At present, the United States faces no global rival. America's grand strategy should aim to preserve and extend this advantageous position as far into the future as possible. This is the choice we face. It is not a choice between preeminence today and preeminence tomorrow. Rather, it is the choice whether or not to maintain American military preeminence, to secure American geopolitical leadership, and to preserve the American peace.